Hey guys, what's going on? This video. I've been asked a lot to do this video. A lot of people have, have always asked me, like, what do I do for batteries? Like, what's my setup? I'm gonna do the battery deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna explain everything. Now, please, please, please stick around for this video. I want you just to hear me out on some of these things about batteries. I think you've been told a lot of things about batteries. I think battery companies tell you a lot of things. I think, I think there's all a lot of misconceptions about batteries and what you really need, why you need it, and, and things no one else tells you. Things you probably won't realize or think about until it's too late. Now, why do I think I'm an expert on batteries? Um, here's why. I try to burn up batteries. Anyone who's ever been fishing with me realizes how fast I fish. Now, that's a very small part of it. I'm always a guy who's always on the troll motor. I usually go fast. The difference is this. I do a couple things that no one else does. One, when I sight fish, I'm out there 14 hours a day, on high, just just going, okay? That's, how, that's what I do, I've always done that. I run into battery problems my entire career. There for a while, and no one knew this, but a couple guys on tour knew it when I was doing it, but I was, I was bringing generators. I, I, I've tried that trick. For a while, I would get back there and I would bring three extra batteries. So I would have them in a bin that weighed literally almost 200 pounds. They're like a hundred and, it, it was a lot. It was a whole, almost 200 pounds. I kept them in the boat with me because I would run three batteries out and then hook up to those batteries. I mean, I had the whole hookup, that way I could go all day long. People were all like, how are you, how are you still out in the water going that fast? Everyone was always burning them up by three o'clock in the afternoon. I was still going at seven or eight. I did all that. I knew what battery was the best. Let me, let me tell you this real quick too. There's gonna to be a whole bunch of people get on here and tell me about all these different things. They're gonna tell me about numbers and the capacity of this and, 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 and cranking hours versus um, reserve hours, all these different things. I don't care about any of that stuff. And here's why I don't care. I don't, I don't go off numbers. I go off what I do in my boat. I'm out of my boat 200 and something days of the year for the last 20 years. I know when batteries go bad. I know how long batteries should last. I've tried, I don't know how many different batteries. And guess what? The one thing I always knew is this. The bigger the battery, the heavier the battery, the longer it went. Plain and simple. I do everything very common sense. Very common sense based person. This is what I figured out. If you've ever seen a single A, double A, or triple A battery, which one's bigger? Which one lasts longer? The single A, because it's a bigger battery. Guys, it has to store power somewhere. The bigger, the heavier they were, the better, and the more they lasted longer. My boat was weighted down with batteries. Now, lithiums came around. Couldn't wait to jump on the lithium bandwagon, and I am. I'm all on board, but even with lithiums, I want to explain some things. This year, I have run nothing but one battery. It's the first time in my life that I ran the same battery for, for everything, like all through my boat. This is what it is, Impulse Lithiums. I've got two over there, three over here. These are my trolling motor batteries. Those are my cranking batteries. If you look, those are 12.8 volt batteries. I've got two of them. One's for my cranking, one's for my live scope. When I say cranking, it runs all my cranking and it runs live wells, uh, all my accessories, and then I have one for live scope, okay? All, all my electronics, that goes there. Here's my trolling setup. I don't know if you can see, you know what these are? Those are three 36 volt batteries. Instantly, I know what's going on. Some of you are like, whoa, 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 you don't need three 36 volt batteries. Let me tell you something. Yes, I do. I do. I personally do. There's things that I do that I personally need three 36 volt batteries. Now, I'm gonna explain to you some things real quick about these batteries. Those impulses, I haven't done a thing to them. If you notice, look what I got charging them. Power pole charge. I've done a video about power pole charge. They're all green, they're all charged up. I went fishing yesterday. Here's what I'll say about lithium batteries. 
I haven't had an issue with them all year long. I can honestly say that. I it, Like an issue with my power pole, nothing. I mean, I, I put them in, put the power pole charge on them. Never had an issue all year long for, for any reason. This is the first time I've actually ran lithiums on my cranking batteries. Dude, I, like I said, haven't had an issue with anything all year long. Been wanting to do a video for a while now about like our anglers of the year that we got three of them last year. And listen, I'm a big believer that like to win angle of the year and to do those things, you need your equipment to make sure it doesn't fail. And between my graphs, the boat, lithium batteries, the charger, all that stuff, man, it just takes one of those to kind of mess up. And, and you have one bad day on the water, it, that's going to mess up your angle of the year. And that's a big deal. The, the, what my setup allows me to do that. So this was a, it, it was a great year. I'm not saying, look, things can break, but it didn't for me last year. That's all I can say. So the batteries were a big deal for me. Hopefully if you made it this long, cause I guarantee you, I'm going to have someone comment on there and they're going to try to get all technical with me and do, I, I'm going to show you the sensible side, the stuff that no one talks about. Why do I have three 36 volt batteries? I have had 36 volt batteries before. So my plan was, instead of having all three 12 volt batteries in a box, I was like, you know what? What if I just get a 36 volt battery? And that way when I, when I run out of my regular three 12 volt batteries, when, it, when, it, when I run them down, I can just hook up to that thing and go for a long time. When I asked the guys about this, and this is an impulse, not them, but when I asked the guy like, hey, how long can I go? He's like, you can go all day with one, one 36 volt battery. And I was like, oh, okay. That's what they told me. Oh man, that, great. So what did I do? I got one, went out to the lake, and went fishing. In two hours and 45 minutes, I wiped it out. It was done. I was going, hey man, called him up and I said, I think this battery's bad. So I explained what happened. I was like, man, I'm out here fishing on Rayburn. Two hours and 45 minutes. Basically, maybe three hours. It was done. And he goes, he was shocked. He was like, well, what have you been doing? I'm like, I'm just fishing. I mean, it was kind of blowing that day. So I was going, you know, I was just fishing. He's like, man, something been right. He's like, what kind of load did you have on it? I'm like, load? Yeah, I don't know. I had it, I had my trolling motor at the time. It was on seven. He was like, oh, that's a heavy load. I was like, heavy load? That's my normal fishing speed. That's not, heavy load is 10. Heavy load is is turning the knob on my troll motor all the way and standing on it for three hours or five hours or 10 hours. That's, I, I, I do that sometimes. That, that wasn't a heavy load, seven? I'm just trying to move. Anyways, so we kind of got in an argument to a degree because I was like, hey, look, I can't just fish with one. I'm gonna need two of these. Now, anyone that knows batteries knows that when you have all that just on one battery, I was saying you get three hours. If you put a second 36 volt in there, it's not three plus three equals six, not with batteries. It's, it's crazy, but like it, it, it works different. So you can usually get like nine hours or maybe even 10. Now that's on a, on a fairly heavy load, seven or eight, nine, like pushing it. I ran into a problem later that year at Lake of the Ozarks. I was fishing like I always do at Lake of the Ozarks, going around boat docks. I wanted to go around them fast. So every time I'd go around a boat dock, I'd put it on high. And I did that all throughout the day. I had a longer day that day, a longer tournament day. Um, I was in the last flight. In the last 45 minutes, my batteries went dead. And if you know anything about lithiums, there's no warning. There's like a two or three minute warning, right? You can kind of feel it go down. It based, it'll like slow down over time. You can feel it wear down. Lithiums, they just cut off. When they, when they go, they cut off and there's no more power. So for the last 45 minutes of that tournament, I had no power left. And I was like, well, I'm not doing that again. So I was like, two's not gonna cut it. I ended up getting three. There's a lot of reasons I want three. I'm not telling you to get three, but I want you to think about something. This is very important. I don't care about all the numbers anyone's gonna give me. I'm just giving you what's reality, reality-based numbers. Anything you buy out there, everything on this boat, your boat, everyone else's boat, every boat in the country, stuff can break on it. I don't care how good anything is. There's nothing out there that's unbreakable. There's things that mess up. It's no big deal. 
a battery messes up, I've had batteries mess up my entire life. You just have regular batteries. You get them from Walmart. If your battery messed up on a day, the next day you can go to Walmart and buy another battery. You can swap them out, you're good to go. Can't do that with lithiums. Most lithiums, the lithiums I had and the most lithiums I see, they're not they're not at your local Walmart. They're not they're not very local. Like you just can't go replace one. And replacing a lithium isn't a hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar battery. They're expensive. They're expensive for a reason because of what they can do. They're phenomenal. That's why I have them. I love them. And they have warranties on them forever. I don't care what warranty they put on all them other batteries. Chances are they're not going to last through that warranty. These rarely go out, but just say they do go out. I haven't had these go out, but I have had a lithium go out on me before. It's a process. I, it is a process. Getting it in the mail because you're you're sending a lithium battery and the havoc stuff you got to do with it and the mailing. Pro Listen, it can be it can be a chore. You can be out for a couple weeks without a battery. Two will probably get 99.9% .9 of fishermen through any day, right? I know I do things a little bit different, and that's just for me. So I'm never telling anyone to go get three 36-volt batteries. What I am saying is this. If one ever goes out, now you're down to one. And you've got to wait a little while to possibly get one. That was in the past. So I'm going to explain real quick. So I was sitting here going, yeah, that's great. But now I'm up in Missouri. And I got to fish the next day. I, I can't do this on one battery. I need two and two barely got me through it. That's what my thinking was. So I always tell people, don't ever listen to what they say that you can get by with one battery. I don't believe that you at least need two. However, just be mindful of the fact that if you get two and one goes out and for some of y'all might not be a big deal because you're not traveling. I get that. And some of y'all don't mind if you got to wait a week or two. I get that as well. I'm just saying for me, but just think about that when you're going to buy some of these. Now, why is that different with Impulse? Why did I go with Impulse? Well, a buddy of mine, Michael Yoder at Jones Marine Electronics, he's a dealer. This is huge, very huge for me. Because one, I know how they work up there. That's how I got all my setup for my Garmin stuff and everything else like that. But if I'm in a bind, I know Yoder. I know Taylor and all them guys. If I needed a battery, I could either meet them, I could drive there that night, I could do something and get me a battery overnight. If I had to, I could go get one so I could fish the next day. Now, that might be hard if I'm in Okeechobee or something that far away, but I could go get one. Now, do I need one? No. I've got three. Two's going to get me by 95% of the time. Three gets me by all the time, but the third one not only does it get me by the other five to 10%, I also have a backup. It acts as a backup. So if one goes down, I'm good for two. That's just for me, okay? Here's the other thing. The warranty on them is incredible. I get tired of buying batteries once a year. I'll probably have these for years. Lithiums last a very long time. Yes, you pay the money for them. There's a reason you pay the money for them. They're that good. They're that light. The great thing about this is I can stand on this for 15 hours, get home, charge them, and they're going to be fine by the next day. Electricity goes out and I'm on the road. No big deal. I can fish probably two days with these, right? There's advantages to that. Now, some of y'all don't need that. I get it, but I'm just saying they have been phenomenal. My impulses, they're great. Bill Waller, he fished the elites. He kind of runs the company. So he's an actual fisherman. He's a guy that you're probably not going to get an argument with over batteries. Because a lot of the guys that do the batteries, they're not fishermen. They're battery guys. And they don't understand. Me personally, I was upset. I was upset because if I owned the company, I'm not going to tell you these numbers and these, and these things that like these tests. My test, if I owned that company, I would have gotten that battery on day one, put it on that trolling motor, got out in the middle of the lake and put it on high and put it on automatic and ran it and started a stopwatch. And I would have been able to tell you no matter what troll motor you had or anything, because the troll motors, certain troll motors use more power. I would have tested it that way and said, okay, this troll motor on this boat, it lasts for two hours and 46 minutes or whatever it might've been. That's what I would have done. 
I wouldn't have gone, well, I think it could do this. It's your company. Why wouldn't you test it that way? So I'm, that's how I would have done it. That's just me. I'm telling you, this has been tested. Look in the comments. I guarantee you though, there's going to be guys in the comments go, yep, if anybody could test it, it's that guy. Trust me, guys, it's what I do. Um, I've never made a battery video because I've never really been pleased with batteries. I am with these. I am. I, I, I love them. It's been great. So, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I get it. I'm just a common sense guy. I'm just trying to tell you my experience with batteries. Um, like I said, I know there's going to be numbers and all kinds of th stuff thrown my way. I don't care. There's something else I want to talk about batteries, and maybe I'll save it for another one. But, yeah, I want to compare the 12 volt to the 36 volt. I want to compare those two. Because I think some people are going to be shocked about what I think a 36 volt battery and a 12 volt battery. I think they're closer to the same. I don't think one has more power. It's just able to convert to 36 volts. But that's a whole nother story. Why do I think that? Well, because a 12 volt battery and a 36 volt battery, they look the same. The same size. Same everything. I just think one converts it to 36 volts and one converts it to 12 volts. I don't think you get more power though. That's just my opinion. Either way, that's my Lithium Impulse battery video. Hope y'all like it, guys. See y'all.